hello all so this uh, video is about uh, some salt exercise that i will show you for diode uh, related topics you can write down in your copy and practice them and also remember the formulae right so let's go ahead with the first one um, so say in a half wave rectifier the maximum secondary voltage is 26 volt right calculate the dc voltage across the load assuming the diode resistance is zero right what is the piv of the diode is also something that you have to calculate right sorry so <clears throat> the maximum secondary voltage is nothing but vm right which is 26 volt right the dc voltage in half wave rectifier is given by vm over pi right and so you can put the value of vm here and find out the answer the piv of the diode is vm in case of half wave rectifier right so it stays as 26 volt right this should be easy next one is in a bridge rectifier the maximum secondary voltage is 26 volt. It's the same thing. We have just changed from center tap to bridge. What is the PIV of each diode? If the same DC voltage is obtained by using a center tap rectifier, what is the PIV? So again, you have to remember the formula for PIV and DC voltage. So bridge rectifier mein kya hota hai? Maximum secondary voltage hume 26 diya hai. Right? DC voltage across the load is vdc is vm over pi 2 pi sorry right so piv of bridge rectifier comes out to be vm if you remember we have done this in the class so same as 26 and the piv for center tap is twice of vm right again this is a simple one this is a little longer one so in a center tap rectifier load resistance is 1 kilo ohm each diode has a forward bias dynamic resistance of rd of 10 ohm right ye hai dynamic resistance of diode the voltage across half the secondary winding is 220 sin 314t if you remember this is similar to your vm right sin omega t right you have to find a the peak value of current b the dc value of current c the rms value of current d ripple factor and e rectification efficiency to hame pehle sabse pehle information extract karni hai ki kya kya diya hua hai question mein so the voltage across half wave secondary winding is 220 sin omega t right sin 314t so vm mil gaya aapko 220 the peak value of voltage is 220 volt. The peak value for current will be Vm upon Rd plus Rl. Right? Rd kitna hai? 10 ohm. Right? Or um, Rl kitna hai? 1 kilo ohm. Units ka dhyan rakho? 10 ohm, 1 kilo ohm. Right? So we write 10 plus 1000. Comes out to be 0.21 amps. Right? Then the DC or average value of current in case of center tap, right, is given as 2IM by pi, our value substitute karenge, right, RMS value of current is IM by root 2, right, because it's a sine wave, right, ripple factor ka equation hota hai, IRMS by IDC, square minus 1 the whole under root this we have already done right so you have to just put the values you will get 0 0.482 and rectification efficiency is power dc by power ac right so power dc is idc square into rl idc now we know we have found out rl is given put the values you should get like 19 watt for power ac it's IRMS square into RD plus RL. Put the values again. 
you should get 23.9 watt for rectification efficiency you have to take the ratio of the two which should come out to be 80.26 percent right so please practice similar questions best is you have to remember the formulae right okay